Hi everyone. Okay, let's provide the solution to this problem. We have x to the power of 3 plus x equals 10. We want to get the value of x. By looking at this, you can even see the real solution to the problem. Obviously, the real solution is 2 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8, then plus 2 will give 10. But then, do you think 2 is the only solution to this problem? Okay, if you want to find out, sit back and go through the steps I'm going to give. Now, here's what I want to do first. This 10 can be expressed in the form of this x to the power of 3 plus x. So if that is the case, then x plus 3 will now be 8 plus 2. Right? Then if we continue, we can even write this one like this. So we have x to the power of 3 plus x now equal to 2 to the power of 3 plus 2. Now, looking at the right hand side and the left hand side, it is obvious that the value of x, the real value of x, is 2. But we want to check if we are going to have more solutions from here. Let's bring this to this. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 2 here to the power of 3. So this right here will be equal to 2 to the power of 3. Okay, I brought this and this together. So that means I have to bring this and this together. So this will now be plus. Then we have x, this particular x, and this, this will become minus 2. So we equate to 0. Now, we can even group this and deal with it. Here we have difference of 2 cubes. But every time you have a to the power of 3, minus b to the power of 3. I'm trying to give an example. Every time you have something in this form, this will be a plus b, a minus b rather, into a squared plus a b plus b cube. Okay, so this is what we have. Difference of two cubes will give you this. So I'm going to express this to be in the form of this one and if that happens we'll now have a minus b as x minus 2 so I'll write x minus 2 here into a squared that will be x squared plus a b that will now be x times 2 and it will be 2x plus b squared that will be 2 Okay, this is supposed to be square. So the b squared will now be 2 squared, and that is 4. Close this, plus open bracket x minus 2. This is coming down here, and we equate to 0. Now, looking at this, this is x minus 2, and that is x minus 2. It is obviously one of the common, um, the common factor. So we'll have x minus 2 as the common factor. Then here we have, again, let me turn this. We have um, x squared plus 2x plus 4. Then plus x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 will give us 1. Okay, and then we equate to 0. Now here we have x minus 2. The common factor we can now open this as 4 will be added you know 4 and 1 will be added so we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus 1 is 5 we close and equate to 0 so we can now conclude that it is either x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this quadratic expression is equal to 0 from here, our x minus 2 is 0, or this is 0, but I'll get back to it. From here now, our x 
will be 0 plus 2 and this means that x is equal to 2 and that is one of the solutions now because we have this quadratic expression we are going to equate it to 0 and it shall turn to a quadratic equation from there we will be expecting two more solutions so let's go there i'm going to copy this somewhere and then deal with it okay so this is now a quadratic equation and um, the formula we are going to use there is a which will be equal to 1 from here there is going to be b which will be equal to 2 and then we have the c that is equal to 5 the constant so now what is the formula the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a our target is to substitute into this formula now so that our x will now be in place of minus b i'll write minus 2 plus or minus square root of b squared that would be 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5 this is because a is 1 and c is um, 5 we divide everything by 2 times 1 okay 2 times 1 that would be 2 times 1 because a is 1 now our x from here will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 then we divide this by 2 times 1 and that is 2 so if we go ahead now we're going to have our x to be minus 2 plus or minus then the square root of 4 minus 20 is minus 16 and we are still dividing by 2 now if you are confused on what to do you can pick this negative from there so we have square root of 16 then multiply by square root of negative 1 and then this is divided by 2 so now our x is minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 and square root of i is square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we write for i now and we divide by 2 to go ahead then our x will be 2 into minus 2 is minus 1 plus or minus the same 2 will go into 4 and that will give us 2 then multiply by i so now we have another value but this is a 2 in 1 value remember what we got before we got our x 1 to be 2 okay now the second value of x x2 is from here minus 1 plus 2i picking the positive from here then we pick the negative that will be our x3 now we have negative 1 now we have negative 2i over here so this right here are the solutions to the equation